So after I posted my um, my new extruder design for the E3D and the uh, Maker Gear M2, I was asked how um, how well it printed. This is a sample. Um, it's a little test print you can get on uh, Thingiverse um, CT3D.xyz, and uh, this is from the direct drive. This is a uh, PLA. Uh, glow in the dark actually. You can see how there's a little defect up there where I didn't let it slow down enough. And uh, the top of the arches is, is a little bit there, but um, for the most part, you know, this worked out uh, worked out pretty good. You get some kind of letters back there. So, um, a couple other examples of the direct drive. This is an old print, so it's kind of kind of dusty, but uh, good. This was uh, the Bowden part. It was uh, a failure because I'd messed up the geometry a little bit. Pet uh, Pet G, of course. Get even parts. All right, um, so. Here's another one in the uh, the direct drive. This is a uh, blue PLA. I uh, did a whole bunch of these at this uh, with this blue one to uh, compare against what I was getting from my from my Bowden side. And uh, so this was the first. When I printed on the Bowden side, you can see it's uh, got a lot of barnacles, kind of fitting for a boat, but just uh, severe over extrusion. And I was thinking that it was because of retraction. I've later figured out that no, this was actually more likely because I was I was over extruding. I think I still had my extrusion multiplier from when I was doing something else. It was still up at one, and. Uh, you can see it's pretty gross. So I, I did several. I, I tried. <laughs> just broke that off. I was trying to. Uh, I did. Yeah, use coast to reduce the amount of material and reduce the barnacles and crap, and it worked out pretty well. Except um, when you uh, got up into these thin pillars, it basically wasn't printing at all. You can see these are really thin through there. So that wasn't a very good solution. So I went away and did a bunch of other stuff. I played around with the, the Ninja Flex, which I'll show you here in a minute. And then when I came back to uh, trying the Bowden and the PLA, I, I couldn't seem to get past this point right here. And this is, I'd reduced my extrusion multiplier down. But every time I got up to this point here, what was happening was the, if I had any kind of retraction on that Bowden, it would back and forth enough when it got onto these pillars that it would flatten out the filament to the point where it wouldn't fit through the nozzle, through the tubing anymore and um, if I didn't have any 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 um, any retraction it would actually it would actually work I could actually make it go all the way up but it, it got a little mess here I um, you know if I tried to loosen up the um, loosen up my 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 tension it um, it would eventually just kind of it would strip and wouldn't push it off I had it too tight and it was just retracting every time it went back and forth along that between the gear and the bearing it flattened out to the point where it didn't work anymore so um, I actually redesigned this so that the the bear the gear as it was up against the bearing was straighter with the filament itself. I thought that was part of the problem. What I learned after I got all this done is that it was still messing up, and I realized that my temperature was too cold. And it, whereas with the the direct drive, I was able to push it through even at the lower 180 degree temperature, but as soon as I raised it up to 195, I managed to print it without a problem. 
So these are printed with the Bowden. And of course it's PET. PET G. Uh, and they printed fine. And then when I went to the PLA it didn't work and then went back to the the PET G it worked fine. I was really frustrated. But um, it just was a temperature issue. <laughs> and as soon as I fixed that it worked. You can see how it gets up into these pillars here. I get a little roughness. This is with the Bowden and Pet G. So this was my final, <clears throat> final PLA with the uh, Bowden. You can see the there's some roughness coming up here that I haven't figured out yet, and there was a little bit of stringing. Kind of had some, a little bit on the corners, a little bit of roughness there in the corner. Detail is pretty good. You can see the faint words across the back, the, the detail up around here. So this was printed at, um, I believe this is actually 2, 2.15. You can see how the, the plastic probably get a bit warm up in here as it thins out, shorter time printing and such. But still managed to print it without uh, deforming the top. So I think the the Bowden's a a success. Um, it's it's probably not nearly as clean as the uh, the direct drive and of course the direct drive is good for the uh, the ninja flex I haven't even tried the ninja flex through the boat and probably not worth trying and uh, but for you know support what I want to try to be able to do is get the uh, the dual um, get the uh, PVA or such going through the uh, through the Bowden and that'll be water soluble anyway so it'll it'll wash out